Labour Party factions bicker over obese names on AYC and UNN certificates. I am Bola Oba, and this is Plus Politics. The National Publicity Secretary of the Alamidi Akwankwa led faction of the Labour Party, Comrade Abayomi Arabambi, has alleged that Obi had different names on his credentials from the University of Nigeria on Suka and the National Youth Service Corps Discharge Certificate. This comes after Obi, in a press conference on Wednesday, challenged President Bola Tinumbu to reveal his true identity to Nigerians. A missed is that is Bola Tinumbu certificate saga from the Chicago State University. Arabambi said that when Obi filled the EC9 form, he wrote that he attended the University of Nigeria on Suka and that he also finished his youth service. But unfortunately, he only submitted his school certificate in the final submission of the form. Joining us to dive deeper into the conversation is Dr. Abayomi Arabambi, National Publicity Secretary, Labour Party. Good to have you as our guest today, Comrade Arabambi. Yeah, good afternoon, uh, Nigeria. Uh, thank you, Plus TV, for giving me this opportunity to set the record straight on the issues regarding Mr. Peter B. One can only start by asking you, do you really believe in the Labour Party and the Labour ideology? And the reason why I'm asking that question <coughs> is, it does seem to some, and some are indeed you know, running the whispering campaign, that you and some other elements may just be fifth columnist in the party. How would you want to respond to that? Thank you very much. Uh, they said uh, you, you, you must come to equity, must come with a clean hand. Uh, we must not say because we have a white thief and we have a black thief. Uh, what matter is a thief is a thief. Labour Party is not like uh, any other political party. And uh, let me tell you for, for a fact that this is my 15 year in Labour Party. Somebody will not just, you know, uh, most of the normal uh, politicians who will keep putting from one political party to the other, coming to Labour Party to think they can have a few days, you know, with their 50 rack for where they were coming from. It is not a question of any few columnists. When you come to Labour Party and you committed a crime, uh, we don't tell them that go and see no more. We have to take the bull by the horn. I've just been able to expose what happened in the Labour Party. Nobody should present this as a top to Nigeria when, in fact, you know it's a black sheep. So it is just setting the record straight. We are the owner of the party, not Peter B. Peter B started in Afghan. Nobody asked him why he left Afghan. Peter B was a PDP. Nobody bothered to ask why he was, why he was a PDP. He was a man who didn't even conduct the election for, the, for eight years. Why he was... Labor, I mean, uh, governor of Abga, uh, under the platform of Ab Abga. So he wouldn't just come with some negative rhetoric and the thing, every Nigeria can be bamboozed, you know, by such false narrative. He met us in Labor Party, we accepted him, but we never knew he has such, you know, local baggages, you know, on his neck, which are, we have come to <clears throat> the public to explore. So they are not uh, like a question of few clubs. And let me be very clear, we are going to send him packing after the Supreme Court judgment. We are going to send him packing back to Abga. We do not want such characters in our party. Dr. Abayami, Dr. Abayami, the right place to interject now will be if you people, the aboriginals in the Labour Party, those of you who must have you know, who must have started the party or joined the party early enough as a result of ideological conviction. If you people are puritanical to the ideology of the party, why did you accept somebody who just flipped from another party and was using 
it was obvious that he was going to use the party as a, as a park and ride party, a, a party of convenience. Why did you people play along? When you want to get married, uh, two individuals are raised by their parents. The little you know about uh, yourself, you go to the altar. By the end of the day, some people will try to manage the marriage. Some will say, oh, it because there differences. Some will tell you, oh, we just want to separate. Some will opt for outright, I mean, uh, outright divorce. You don't blame either parties. It was because it was when they come together that they got to know each other very well. That's the analogy that will give you why we accepted it. Okay, oh, okay. You using, progressing with your analogy, um, yes. one would then suppose that at this, at this point, uh, maturity and strategic good of the party yep. should ordinarily have instructed a more conciliatory methodology of resolving whatever may be the differences apart from this um, brick baths and the uh, washing of dirty linen in, in public. Why would you respond to that? Hello, Doc, are you there? I'm with you, I'm with you. Okay. It's raining in Abuja, that's why it's raining in Abuja. <laughs> okay, did you, hear, did you hear my last... Uh, yeah, you said we are watching our deadline in the public. Why can't we explore alternative this resolution or maybe, you know... And uh, more conciliatory uh, methodologies of resolving <laughs> whatever may be the differences between the factions. Now, uh, now uh, let me uh, thank you very much. Ever in Labour Party, we have not witnessed issue of forgery in our party until when Peter B, you know, came on board. The issue did not commence today. He tried to from the day he tried to anambralize and immunize the Labour Party. Where you, you have are making, you, uh, hello, you are making serious allegations. Anambralize would be, he, he, he was trying to uh, ethnicize, ethnicize the party? I said he's trying to anambralize and immunize our party. Are you getting me? Yeah. And what did he do? In the campaign council, when the campaign council was formed, the NWC, P, you know, kick against it because you have other than Dr. Dunyo Kukwe that was the DG. Every other person they were from Imo and Anambra. And we told him, this is not, this does not represent a true character, better character, where you have to spread. But you know, he said, oh, you could understand those people very well. Imagine you want to run a president campaign. You are putting Ibu as coordinator in Shokoto, say coordinator. You are putting Ibu man as coordinator in Sanfara, in, in Kano. And this was what led to the exodus of our candidate governorship as of prep. They couldn't take such nonsense from us and they pull out. They pull out. They don't see why in the public space because we took him head on that. You can't go and put an Anambra person because he's a trader like you. You ask him to be coordinating Labour Party in Imo, Shokoto, Kombe, Sanfara. It's no rubbish. Who's going to take but, that? But, but uh, Dr. Rabambi, you, you, you cannot say or contradict the fact that it was when he came to the party that he gave some vavavoom, a, a bit of uh, energy and, and, and traction to the party. So if he decided to use those he could work with, because ultimately he was the one that, that, brought, uh, that brought activities into the party, why would you want to then be saying, uh, alleging exercisation and umbrellaization and... Ibo, Iboization. So, who brought who brought uh, life into APC? Who brought life into PDP? Who brought life into NMPP? So, it all should be different. Why don't Kwakwanso go to Gusset and make an Ausa man is the coordinator for campaign? Why don't Tinubu go to Anambra and make a rubber man coordinator? Why can't Atiku come to uh, 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 what do you call it? Come to Lagos and make an outside man coordinator. Man, let's just be very, very realistic. What life did he brought into the party? Let me be very frank with you. We run that campaign on the fraudulent activities. None of our agents were paid. There was no money relief for the election. Just like Professor Chasoluto said, he warned us that we are taking in a man who is a trader, who is coming on a platform 
go and google it a problem of so no comment about Peter will be that he will use their party to line his pocket and at the end of the day he came to fall because in the election petition you knew what the judgment was we were told point blank that the way expect those judges to run into market and be fetching evidences are you aware that in that petition we did not front load any from EC8, the the polling union result. Do you know we didn't? I mean, we didn't follow anyone with the petition. They came afterward, and what happened was that we budgeted ten ten thousand for two polling unit agents across the one hundred eighty five thousand. They stole the money. They didn't pay any agent, even what the opinion that are making noise. They did not release their result. This was why he wrote for the satisfactory copy of some result from INEC, and he said INEC gave him below eighteen thousand. How do you blame my neck for your failure? Because when in the evidence act, you must have something to show for a fake or original, and you now counter the other one as a fake or original. We didn't have any result. Imagine that is pure political rascality. We did not submit any result in the agent, the I mean in the the, the okay. witnesses. You knew the court threw away 10 out of our witnesses. They only admitted three. Out of this 13, did you see any polling unit agent, whether our supervisors, whether from okay, the uh, okay. from the local uh, government, uh, uh, Dr. No, Dr. Dr. Rabambi, uh, because uh, the direction you are going is a uh, prima facie of GDC. I wouldn't want us to go on that track. Let's stay on the political side of things. Now, Dr. Rabambi, before I move to the allegation of uh, impersonation or, or forgery as, as it is, uh, before I move into that, I need to ask you a direct and straight question. Can you hand one hand on your chest and one hand raised to your God, say you are not being used by an external factor to disrupt the activities of the Labour Party. I pledge Nigeria to be faithful and to be very honest. You can see my hand on my chest. Okay. I then. said I am telling you for fact okay. that we run that election with the mission to fail. See, I am not just a baby politician. I said we went to election without polling unit agent. But for God's sake, who is going to give us the result? The electorate is very simple. You must prove any form of regularity with someone who was present. With someone who was present at that polling unit. But we went on political expedition, you know, with the court of appeal, and our matter was disgraced. We were disgraced in that court. Uh, okay, uh, okay, doctor, mm. doctor Arabambi, if it was bad enough that you people came out of the election in a very discordant, very disagreeable state, the new law now is this allegation about uh, faking of certificate. Uh, could could you put it in context? I don't really want to be presumptuous in my understanding of what maybe the message you have around the <coughs> issues of, a, of his uh, name, the inconsistencies in name on some uh, documents you now claim you have. Well, you, you, uh, now, uh, you need to give me time on this. Please, I'll give when you time. When he came Go ahead. into the Labour Party, I was the Niger Public Secretary, the chairman directed, the then chairman directed, we supervised the the, the form to make sure it's okay because we only have 24 hours to the last day of submission of presidential candidate. Then it was Dr. Duyo Kupe, <clears throat> you know, within when they came. So when we did that, he wrote in the form you see now, that is a particular of candidates that he attended University of Nigeria, Azuka, you know, as a secondary school, he had bus advocate, data so 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 and co. But because we were rushing from Asaba to Abuja that they to submit because that was our last day. Are you asking, Excellency? Well, I mean, what about that document that you feel here? He said, No, you get them across because you were rushing. You know, he has to leave PDP then. That was all. It, I mean, over time, we asked him, oh, Election is coming. 
can we be able to just furnish our neck with all this duty? Then we never knew he had skeleton in his cupboard. But as time goes on, you know, during our campaign, information start filtering in when we go to the east to campaign, especially when the, I mean, the Professor Charles Sududu admonished us that that guy is not real. We thought, you know, he was joking. Until issues that now surrounded our uh, nomination of candidates. And I'll be very clear with you. In Ebony, in Edo State, some things happened that we have never witnessed in our life. The candidate that did primary before Obi came, when Obi came, he was interested in putting his people there. But rather for them to meet the candidate that were there in line with the electoral act, who has to write letter of withdrawal one, then affidavit of withdrawal two. The letter of withdrawal will be written to the national chairman of the party that oh, I want to withdraw, which is allowed in electoral law. Then the affidavit of withdrawal. You will now go to a court with the committee and you now depose an affidavit that, oh, truly you are the one that is withdrawing for the incoming candidate. But what did we see? They didn't tell us anything. When Anne now publishes the last name, the name of, you know, of the finalists of candidates, we found out that some of our candidates have been removed. Then that was when this issue began. We called them the meeting with Peter Obi. We were shocked. He said, eh, don't worry, we should not worry, we should not worry. He's about to win. I will compensate I mean, the rest of you when I won the election. And the people said, no, we don't need your compensation. You have your family, we have our own family. We paid for this form. You didn't, you are not the one that paid for this form for all. We want to know who changed our name. When they were not coming with a favorable answer, we now proceeded to INEC. And then now gave us what they submitted to change the name. We now found out that there was an affidavit deposed in the court. We wrote to the court. The court now replied that those documents were forged by Aburi and the National Secretary there. So, in the process of getting to know all this, when we now found out that the documents were forged and we had the certified two copy of the forged document from the court, what happened was that we presented to the police. We wrote a petition and the police did a forensic audit. When this audit now came out, that was when Peter B came on board. We told him, but to our surprise, which I said in, the, in my press conference, he said we should leave it until when he had won an election. This was where we now began to suspect this man. We should leave someone that forged the seal of the court 23 in FCT. That red seal, they manufactured their own. The commissioner for oath, signature and stamp, they manufactured their own. Then the treasury single account, they generated receipts for themselves. You can see how people are criminally minded. And they submitted this to INEC, and then now thought it was original until when the court confirmed. And by that, we have fulfilled the law regarding evidence act. Because when you want to confirm forgery, you have to put the one to the original. So we sent the one they sent to INEC, and court now confirmed back to her that. The one they submitted to Anne was forged, it was not from them. And be, that was the departure point between us, Peter B. Since that day, Peter B now began to distance himself from us. He now moved towards the forger. And he will now present to FCT Court. FCT Court restrained Aburi. I, I, I love, I love Three that days that... after, no, I'm coming. Let me give you the background. Three days after, when Aburi was restrained, do you know they all of them ported themselves to Azaba for a purported neck meeting? We are denouncing, oh, they are perspectives of us that expose the forgery. And obvious to pretend that over that meeting. Nobody, nobody would think we will now kill Mr. Besides the character. In the open glare of television, he now sat there, they, oh, and, and Papa, you are dismissed. This one you are expelled because we said, no, we don't want to do forgery. Since that time, we kept it at an arm length until when this issue of sacrificing forgery came about. So, but uh, because I was involved, in the in the feeling of his form, are you getting me? And now began to raise curiosity. And let me tell you something today that he, he doesn't know. I was the first person to know Peter B. Who the wife of that his brother? But he didn't know because they didn't show me to him. Then when we are trying to bring him to Labour Party, when I when I know that woman. So it was in that process that we got to know 
when he now said in the press conference that his father gave him Peter Owabusi Obi as his birth name, I knew he was lying. He was not the one bearing that name. That was why I now came out to say, oh, what we know about you, let us put it to the public for. And let me tell you the question that I asked him. That in his press conference today, he did not answer. I asked him, his birth certificate, he should give out the original, not a sworn affidavit. Because I know he was not Christian Peter uh, Gregory, uh, I mean, Obi, Peter Gregory Obi. That was not the name the Christian name. I demanded for the birth certificate. I demanded for his primary school certificate. Obi is just 62, for God's sake. I mean, the school is still very fresh now. He can, he can, he can get it. I demanded the secondary school he uses, you understand, has a name that was different from a birth certificate. Because as young as Obi is, his parent must have been the one that would take him to elementary school. His parent must have been the one that would take him to secondary school. So how many... So in, in, ra in rounding up, Dr. Alabambi, what are you specifically alleging here? We are alleging that Peter Obi Resort was not his own. The resort is using belong to his dead brother, and he accepted that in his press conference of today. I will send it to you. In, the press of, in, the, in, the, in his press conference today, he claimed to the spokesperson, you know, for their own uh, group there, he claimed that he had an immediate brother who is dead, but they attended University of Nigeria, Asuka, that the man studied computer science, he studied philosophy. As have you ever tell anybody that he has a brother that attended the same school? It was the result of that man that he was using because the man is dead. But today, I am glad that of all, he only considered to one fact that he has a brother who is dead. He had a brother or he has a brother? He had a brother. He had a brother that is dead, truly. He confirmed, I'm going to send you the, uh, I'm going to send you the, the page, you know, of their uh, 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 really, narrative to we really have But to... he accepted, he accepted that they both attended University of Nigeria and Suka, which I said, he was using the certificate of that man. Because if you look at it very well, the sequence of Obi's name kept changing. And my dear brother, I want to ask you a question. When you are to be mobilized for, NW, for NYC, who sent your name to the NYC? Is it you or the school? After you must have been cleared by the library, after you must have been cleared by the, by, by the budget department that you are not owing. And, you know, <clears throat> the student uh, uh, the student affairs department, the dean of student affairs department, everybody must have cleared you. Who sent your name for mobilization? It is the University of Polytechnic. But you can see that the name in his university is different from the name in... Uh, okay, we, we in, have to in, really... In the we, and let me tell you why the different. That was, the time the man was arrested, he, 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 he started bearing Peter. And the time... We, and by we the time really the have to died, go... We really have went, to go... Uh, he went to that change... Comrade, we, time, time, is, time is I very unfair at this, uh, at this, you know, at times like this. I'm really, really very pained. You know, I'm quite enjoying your, your, you know, the way you are putting your case. But uh, unfortunately, we have to go. Thank you very much. Thank you so so much Thank for, you. for this privilege. Uh, still on the decrepit, still on the discrepancies with the names written on the certificates of the Labour Party's presidential candidate. Peter Obi, a spokesman for the party's presidential campaign council, Yunusa Tanko, has shared a different view. Tanko challenged Rabambi to show the proof of his allegation against Obi and labeled the Rabambi's move as a mischievous accusation. Joining me to strike a balance in office is Nana Sani Kazaure, spokesperson Obidati Presidential Campaign Council. Nana, it's a pleasure having you on our set virtually today. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you for having me. Good evening, everyone who's listening to us virtually. We really have to ask you, was there any press conference by your presidential candidate today? And did he specifically accept the fact that he had a brother who passed on, who went to the same schools with him. Was that true? 
I'm not aware that he had a presidential, uh, oh, sorry, I'm not aware that he had a conference, but I am aware that, yes, he, he, he's spoken very plainly about his brother who was in school with him. You know, Arabambi made a comment, and first and foremost, what we should look at is Arabambi's timing. It's clear that he's, you know, doing somebody else's bidding and running around like, well, for want of a better word, a headless chicken. And I, it's quite worrying that a man like Peter Obi lives rent free in Arabambi's head. It might be quite, it must be quite traumatizing for Dr. Arabambi. That said, to answer your question, I'm not aware that he had a press conference today. But I do know that he has explained to us quite extensively. His brother, his eldest brother, is alive. Arabambi's um, outburst, you know, which as far as I'm concerned, you know, is a misadventure and an exercise in futility. Arabambi's outburst was that he's, he's using his eldest brother's documentation Peter Obi's eldest brother is alive and well and kicking. He's not dead. Yes, he does have a brother who was deceased. And that brother read, went to the same university as he did, UNN. And he read computer science. Peter Obi has never come out to say that he read computer science. He read philosophy. And that's where he got his bachelor's degree. And that's what he has always maintained. I do not know how Arabambi can claim that he used his brother, his uh, late uh, brother's uh, uh, certificate. Nana, Nana, yes. it, it does seem that the very, the very kind of allegation of obscurantism, of opacity that you people seem to be throwing at one of your opponents is what seems to be building uh, do we still have Nana with us? I can hear you, but I do not know why it has gone off. Yes. Oh, I hope you've not touched any. Okay, now, now you're back. Uh, now your yes, beautiful face now uh, graces the screen. Okay. Nana, uh, and, uh, just looking at it all over again, given, mm, given the nature uh, of the favor with which majority of your digitally literate members or supporters seem to be pointing accusing fingers at the other candidates, the opponents of your principal, it does seem now that Peter Obi may not be any dint better than the two other candidates when it comes to the consistency, transparency, lucidity of, of their backgrounds. It's just like the cat calling the pot black. How would you respond to no. that? No, 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 no. I think you're quite wrong to say that. He has always been Peter Gregory. Um, um, Boasi, Obi. He did tell us during his press conference, he explained to us that his father named him um, Boasi. That, that means I cannot die. And then because he's of the Catholic faith, when he did his confirmation and it was time for him, you know, there's there's a whole thing that they do in the Catholic Church. His bapt his his um his, the name given to him by the Catholic Church is where Gregory comes in. There's been no discrepancy in who he is. So, uh, I, I and wonder, I do not uh, think uh, Peter, excuse me, please, excuse me, please. I do not think a man like Peter Obi, if we asked him to reintroduce himself, would have any problem doing so. We know who his schoolmates are. We know who his classmates are. We know where he comes from. We know who his parents are. There's, there's, there's a trajectory. The man has traction. There are people who sat in the same classroom as, as he did. There are people who sat in the same school environment as he did. So I don't know okay. why Arab. Uh, uh, like okay. I said, it must be very difficult. And I do extend my sympathies to a man like Dr. Arab and be oh, okay. uh, uh, eloquent and but it's uh, it must be quite difficult uh, na, na, for na, 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 obedience na, na, and Peter will be to live rent free in his head. Okay. Na, it must na, be quite traumatic. Na, na, and there's something that Seneca said. 
you know, a philosopher. He said, and I, I paraphrase, we seem to, you know, as human beings, it's a lot easier for people to put figments of their imagination. It's it, we, 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 we bring figments of our re imagination and walk away from reality. The reality of the fact is, Arabambi is going around, and I do, I, 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 with, I say this with all sincerity and all respect to media, but I wonder why he's even being given any airway. Okay, let me, let me give you one of the reasons. Let me give you one, one of the reasons why uh, the media may be giving him some degree of credence than mm -hmm. you think he deserves. Now, if Peter Obi is Catholic, the Catholic Church will not christen him twice. So I wonder where Peter, where he got Peter from and where he got Gregory from. Because if he was Christian, right. if he was Christian in the church, ordinarily they will give him one Christian name. So how come Peter is now playing against Gregory? He didn't tell, he didn't not, tell I don't guys think that. there's any ambiguity in that. He has explained it. When he got to a certain age and it was time for his confirmation, he was given the name Gregory. I think you would have to ask somebody who's of the Christian faith to answer that question for you better. I'm not from the Christian faith, so it's difficult, and I'm not Catholic, so it would be difficult for me to really shed a lot of light on that. But I've explained it, and we understand. Oh, okay. We are Africans. Excuse me, please. You asked me a question. Allow me to finish. Thank you. We are Africans, and we do know that a lot of the time our parents give us names, neighbors give us names, you know, and then even religiously names come up over the span of our lives. It doesn't mean that we are not the same person that we were. Even if, for example, even if he added those names to his name, and um, there's nothing in the Nigerian constitution once you are an adult that stops you from e being able to change your names for as many times as you need to, as long as you are not a fraud, a thief, a murderer. I see no reason why it should, it should even be such an issue. The man is who he says he is, and we can verify that. It's not uh, okay. anything. Uh, okay, Nana, you, you, you've been quite articulate about and, and very, very pungent in the way you're making your point, but uh, let's move beyond even the seeming inconsistencies in the name of, uh, of your principal or the allegations of... Uh, of inconsistencies in the names on certificates that that the likes of Arabambi are making, how would you respond? Let me ex can I can I explain something briefly? I'm sorry if I cut you short. Please, I apologize. No, no, go ahead. But go ahead. There, I'm very thankful that we have a body like the National Identity of NIN. You understand? Because a lot of us have taken for granted how our names should feature. You understand? If I, I had to really go and do a rectification, because what was on my passport, and I'm still the same person, was not the way it featured in one of my documents, and I needed to submit it to the to to the back. I needed to submit it to ARM for pension, and so the names. I'm still the same person names affected the way it came out in my passport, and so it had to be redone. So it's not a big deal. And thank God there are institutions okay, let, in Nigeria let, let's move that to, help us rectify. Let, let's, let's move to some other, uh, one, one or two other issues that, that may be. Okay. Um, they are also claiming the, the other side or the other faction of your party, they are also claiming allegations of, or making allegations of forgery against your, your faction's uh, chairperson, that he forged the, the signature of somebody who supposedly said he was, not, he was no longer going to contest. How would you respond to that? My response is very simple, and I will just, you, the Supreme Court said it all. These people aren't our members. These people should, you know, the Supreme Court threw away all their charges against our chairperson, against the um, the whole Labour Party, and they they they're just I don't want to them call them names because one thing I do know is that there's always room for reconciliation. If if I I believe that if Peter Obi was the person sitting down here right here and now, 
He would even call for them to say, you know what, let's be reconciliatory. Let's go back to the drawing board. And if they have any, ex rather than come out with all these nonsense and, like I said, misadventurous um, ventures and vitriol against the party and Peter Obi, why don't you just come to the table if you have questions, ask the necessary questions to the right people, and you'll get an answer. But running around all every time and trying to cause problem doesn't speak well to the person of Dr. Arabambi. He seems to be a very eloquent man. He seems to be a very passionate man. It's something that you have to admire about him. But at the point where, you know, you, you, he goes against the rule of law, what the Supreme Court has already ruled against the matter, then it gives me pause for concern about the kind of person a man somebody, like somebody, somebody, Somebody as intelligent as you should also be telling your principal maybe it's about time he sued for libel if he believes that, oh, Nana is making fun of me. May God forgive you. What do you think? Because some of these allegations are libelous and defamatory. Mr. Bola, you are absolutely right. Perhaps that's what I would do. Perhaps that's what you would do. Perhaps that's what every other Nigerian would do. But Peter Obi has shown us time and time again that he's just a cut above the rest. The man is a man of peace. The man isn't, you know, he's 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 not wired that way. I've position, said it before. Let's leave it at the position platform. of peace. I think I like the I, li I think I like that yeah. we leave it at he's, this position he's, of he's, peace, amity. Yeah. Peace, amity. Even the way he carries himself. Thank you very Mane, much. I've said it before. I said it once. I said to the person, I said, he is so agreeable that people think him a simpleton. He will tell you, he's the first person to tell you, I'm not a saint. He's the first person that will tell you, you know, when people say things to him, it's not that he doesn't have the answer, but he has trained himself over and over again to just sit back, bite his tongue, and try and see where the person is coming from. Try to see the other side. So like you said, you prefer to agree. He's just a man of peace. He's somebody who always just cares about how you are, how the other person is doing. And that's because I have a personal relationship with him, a working relationship, before they now say something else to the media. Because there's a personal working relationship with this individual. I like to call him His Excellency Peter Obi. He's just a man of peace. He's just a man that he, he's very reconciliatory. Really if you even look at his, really the way he works, when people insult Nana, him, I'm he'll really come, he'll say, my elder brother, the person is my brother. He'll say, I'm a trader, you're a Nana. professor. Continue Nana. from where I stopped. He's not one to jump please, into the fray. Please, Nana, I'm begging, please. We really have to go now. Thank you. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate having thank, this conversation. Thank you very much. Now, we, we sure do thank appreciate you, you too. Thank you, Bob.